Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to can easily jailbreak iOS 7.0, 7.0.2 and 7.0.3 using Jigsnow. Okay, but first there are a couple of things that you need to know before execute this jailbreak. First, I am the developer of Jigsnow. In fact, this jailbreak tool based on LimeRain exploit is mine. So if you have any problem, please contact me at this email address, blackgtutorial at gmail.com. Second, this jailbreak is only compatible with the iPhone 4. And third, this is a tether jailbreak. So if you execute it on your iPhone 4, it will not be able to switch on or reboot automatically. So every time you shut it down, you will need to plug it to the computer and run again Jigsnow in order to boot it up. Well, let's begin. Okay, the first step is go to the official page of Jigsnow. So open up Safari or any other browser and type jigsnow.altervista.org. Then choose the English language and proceed to download the script application. As you can see, there are three versions of Jigsnow. The first is for iOS 6.0, the second for iOS 6.0.2, and the last one is for iOS 6.0.3. To find your firmware version, go ahead on Settings, then hit General, and then tap About, and check the firmware version. In my case is iOS 6.0.3, so of course I will choose the last file. Once your browser has downloaded it, unzip it, and a new folder will be created, with the program and the brief guide inside. Before running the program, we need to get Xcode, so open up App Store and download it from there. Once the program is installed, open it, go to Xcode, Preference, Downloads and make sure that in this list the word command line tools will not be present. If you see it, you know to download itself, otherwise just close Xcode. Ok, we are ready, right click on my sh file and select open with terminal, type 1 and press return. It will ask to put the Mac username. If you don't know it, you can find it going to Finder, Go, Home, and the name will show on the tool but right here. So insert it on the terminal, press return, and just wait. The entire process could take about 10 minutes, so see you later. Ok, so when prompts, press a key to continue, do that and type 2, followed by return key. It will automatically pop up a JavaScript which asks to connect your iPhone 4 in the FU mode. To do that, first make sure that it is plugged into the Mac and hold down the power and the home button together for 10 seconds, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ok, now release the power button and continue holding only the home button as the program is starting to work. And after a few minutes on your max screen appears this green message success. So you can minimize both the application but do not, and I repeat, do not close them. Now open a new window of Jigsnow and type 3. Ok, now type yes, and then the program will ask you to insert the SSH password, which is Alpine. So type Alpine, and please remember, this password will not appear during typing, but don't worry, you're actually typing it. So write Alpine, hit return, then hit a key to continue and press 4. Enter your Mac username like a few minutes ago, now do the same thing, so retype Alpine, press return, and retype again for the last time, so type 3 times the Alpine password. Once the program has been finished, it will close automatically, don't worry, it's normal, so reopen it. Now guys, this is the most important part of the entire tutorial, because now I'm going to show you how to execute a tether boot. 
you will need to do that all the times that you will want to boot it up after a shutdown. So hit 5, 6 or 7 depending on your iPhone 4 model and immediately the program will ask you to put your device in DFU mode. So do that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release the power button and continue holding the home button for about 10 seconds. And as you can see, my Mac is going to correctly boot my iPhone 4. And there it is, it jumped to the lock screen, but Cydia is not present. That's why we need to run 8 to install it. But first, you need to discover your Wi-Fi's IP address. So go to settings, Wi-Fi, and then type the little I symbol of your network. A list containing some address will appear. And you'll need to keep in mind just the first one, which in my case is 192.168.1.67. Okay, now you can run 8. Insert your Mac username and now your IP address. So I insert mine. 192.168.1.67 and now hit return okay now type yes hit return and now insert again your ssh password alpine after a few seconds reinsert the password again and gxno will start to install cydia it takes about seven minutes so see you later okay once the process has been completed your iphone will make a reboot and of course it will stuck, that's why we need to boot it with Gixno Setter Boot feature that I already showed you. So again guys, remember you need to do that all times that you want to boot up your iPhone 4. Okay, and finally when you unlock the lock screen, CD appears. So open it and the first thing is going to news and refresh the old list of packages. Once this last process will be complete, you can enjoy your Cydia. So as you can see here, it says iPhone 4 GSM iOS 6.0.3 Cydia 1.1.8 Plus. So guys, in this video, I showed you how to can easily jailbreak your iPhone 4 using Gixno. Please share this video on Twitter and Facebook, subscribe to my channel for all my hard work, hit the thumbs up button and I will catch you in the next time. Bye bye!